Hi everyone, it's Agnes. I've got a success story today sent in by Essie. Okay, it goes like this. Hi Agnes, I want to finally share my story with you. It's been like six months since I first wrote you about my situation. I was so in love with my specific person, but I found out he was in a relationship for years and I had no idea about it. We stopped talking and I was feeling very bad in the beginning, very hurt. I was doing self-love a lot because after what happened with him, my self-esteem was very low. Moreover, I was in his country alone with a little knowledge of the language, so I was a bit scared of facing it all alone. I was doing a lot of gratitude singing, trying to make my mood better, trying to see something to be grateful and happy for even when I was hurt inside. I was reading a lot of Neville, watching Agnes, sometimes Veronica too. I was falling asleep in my wish fulfilled and my wish fulfilled was living with him. I was imagining falling asleep on his chest, cooking with him, doing ordinary things like couples who live together. I was feeling good thinking about him, but there was still pain for what happened. So I was doing Ho'oponopono. One day, it happened around two months ago, I think I had a dream with my boss. In the dream, he kissed me and, I, and told me he loves me. I had a similar dream twice before, but not so intense. I was attracted to him, but never thought deeply about it. He was my boss and seemed impossible to make it happen, or maybe not impossible, but could bring me problems if I wasn't sure what I wanted, my SP or him. Although after the third dream, I felt strong attraction to him. I was constantly thinking about him and missing him when he wasn't around. My friends told me he was, he told me to try something with him on the party that he was making. They said, I just have to find a good moment. But the universe found the moment for me on its own and earlier than I thought. I was working on Saturday night until the bar will be closed. I was with one more owner of the bar and also my friend who works there, but it happened that both of them wanted to leave earlier, so I stayed with my boss alone. He was sitting and drinking with his friends and I also had a drink while sitting at the bar because I was bored. People were sitting and talking, coming to buy beer from time to time. Suddenly when my friend left, he came to me and sat close to me and started a conversation. He was asking about me and my family and we were talking like an hour until his friends and people at the bar started to leave. But it started to rain horribly outside so he asked me if he could take me home. I was surprised because he never offered this to anyone. It was raining so much that I agreed. We were talking so much in the car and he is not at all talkative I would say. So I was happy that we opened up to each other. I was feeling like this in my moment to do something, but I was scared. Finally, he stopped next to my house and we had to say goodbye. We hugged like always and he kissed my cheek. I was still close to him and I thought just now or never. I thought there won't be a better moment than this and I kissed him. Then I stopped. When I stopped, he said, it's not okay what we are doing, but he kissed me again. Finally, I told him I need to go. I knew he was unsure, so I thought I need to leave him alone with this. And with that feeling of not enough, I got to home and I was feeling happy. My dream became a reality and I didn't even care what would happen later. I just sat in my living room, smoked a cigarette and started pampering myself with self-love affirmations, trying to make myself feel strong and confident after what had happened. Suddenly I got a message from him that he's confused, that I'm beautiful, that he loves me and he doesn't know if it's possible. As I am the person who believes that nothing is impossible, I explained him what I think about it and try not to worry if he accepts this or not. He asked me to come to his house. He ordered me an Uber and I got to his place around 5 a.m. It was very late because we worked until 3.30, I think, that night. We spent a night together and the next day I had lunch together. Later I came back to my home when he was saying goodbye. He said, it's our secret. I was having positive thoughts about us still. 
I was a little bit afraid of the first day at work on Monday, how it would be if he won't, won't ignore me, but he was so sweet. All the time around me, touching my hand when no one saw, giving me kisses and hugs. When we finished work, I was walking to home and he passed by next to me and offered me a ride. I said yes. He said he needs to go for some petrol because I didn't want, I don't want to go to his place. And I said, why not? And we went to his place. It's been a month and we are like living together because every night I'm here, every afternoon we cook together, later we go to work together. I always have a day off on Thursday and now he has also has it to spend time with me. At work everyone knows and they are happy for us. He bought a flat that will be ready soon and he offered me to live with him. Whenever I want to go home, he sleeps home to sleep. He always asks me to stay because he loves sleeping with me, feels close, feeling me close all the time. I am so grateful for this and so happy that I've met him. He's a really good guy for me and does everything to make me happy. Whenever I go out with friends to have a time on my own, he always sends a text to me, meanwhile, to ask how I was doing, even if he knows in the night we will be again together. I am just so happy for that. I stopped thinking about my specific person. Now he is my specific person. Maybe he has always been, and I was too confused on my SP that I couldn't see it. A few days ago, I was at lunch at his parents' house, and they are happy for us and so lovely to me. Things happened really fast. I mean, they became serious very fast. But I think it's because this is what I've always wanted, my wish fulfilled, to live like this with someone I love. Thank you, Agnes, for everything and for showing me how important also I am in my life and no one else. If anyone here needs help or needs to talk or needs support, you can write to me. I haven't got back with the guy I wanted, but I am not sad for it. I understood that he was not worth it. And I think I have too much bad feelings to him that creates my resistance, but I am tired of this and I feel happy now so I don't need him anymore ah oh, lovely so beautiful 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 I will put Essie's email in the description Essie you have said that you are happy to talk to people in that story and also I would like to say there is a viewer Francis who is going through a very, very challenging time, has children and has developed lymphoma. Now is extremely positive and is in an amazing headspace while she goes through her treatment for this and she's doing all her self-love and doing all the stuff that's required and has got a really positive mindset, but she has got a um, GoFundMe because there is issues around finances. So I'm going to put the link down below for those of you that want to help one of the viewers. And that's it. Francis will come on at some point and do an interview for sharing her recovery and sharing her journey. But for now, she wishes to stay in the background until that's all done. So just thought I'd share that with you. Lots of love and... Onward and upward. Woohoo!